Hey everyone, and welcome back to our weekday devotions here at Calvary. A week ago today was Thanksgiving, and right here in this very sanctuary, and also at home, for those of you who joined us online, we sang the hymn, Now Thank We All Our God, an awesome hymn that emphasizes the thankfulness and praise that we have towards our God. But do you know the story behind it? In the last years of the Thirty Years' War, the city of Eilenburg, Germany, was overrun by invading armies, and this happened three separate times. And the last army to overrun them, they demanded a large amount of money as a tribute, and the city just couldn't afford it. But a pastor by the name of Martin Rink, Rinkhart uh, stepped up, and he interceded with the leaders of this army to lower it to an amount that the, the city could also afford. But that's not all he had to do. See, during this time, there was also a great famine in the land, and it was also during the plague. So Pastor Rinkart had to deal with all of those things, and at the height of the plague, it wouldn't be unusual for him to perform 50 funerals, and one of which was unfortunately his wife. But yet, in the midst of all of this, the Lord led Pastor Rinkart to write this hymn. A hymn that was written in the time where Thankfulness seemed like the last thing on his mind. But he wrote it, and it's something that we still use today to thank and praise God. Fast forward to 2020 and what we're going through right now. And comparatively, it doesn't seem like it's even close to what Pastor Rinkhart went through, uh, but it doesn't make it any less difficult for us. And with this year being so rough, you would think that out of all of the times to be thankful after Christmas, this would be one of the most important. But society likes to go on to the next thing. Thanksgiving is over, so everybody's focus is on Christmas. But, and while that happens, we can so quickly fall into the trap of being thankful only one day out of the year. And when this happens, we not only follow into this trap, but we also forget what the Bible tells us. There are many, many passages about being thankful in the Bible. And I want to highlight uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Whether you're in Pastor Rinkhart's situation or the situation we're in now, and everything give thanks. It doesn't even matter what church year you're in. We're in Advent right now. But in everything, give thanks. Well, think about the hymn. Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices. Whom wondrous things has done? And what wondrous things has he done for us? He sent his son, our Savior King. And think about all that Jesus has done for you. He defeated death. He defeated the power of the devil. And he washed away all of your sins, past, present, and future. And because of this, we have a true, everlasting peace. And that's something to be truly thankful for this Advent season. So no matter what situation we're in, no matter how bad things are, it really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that baby in the manger and what he would eventually and has already done for us. And let that be what we focus our hearts and minds on this Advent season. And may we always be thankful for our Savior King. We pray. Lord God, we are sorry for the times that we are not thankful and forget what you tell us in your word. May we always thank you for what you have done for us and continue to do for us. Help us focus our hearts and minds on our Savior King this Advent season, and help us always to be thankful in everything. Amen.